to show you the class, getting together and um, deciding on the TikTok video. We just got done with making a TikTok video. I'm telling you, this is like the best class yet. I just love my students. I love the way they support me. I love the way they encourage me and inspire me. I mean, you hear them saying, I inspire them, they inspire me. So now I'm thinking of going on TikTok and we did a TikTok video today. It was just great. I cannot wait to um, share with you guys, but it's been a lovely day and um, I'm happy. Tell you what, I'm going to go around and actually ask my students what they thought about the TikTok video. So let me see how I can flip this and send the video. So this is Miss Beth. What did you think about the TikTok video we just did? I love the TikTok video for the simple fact that we all worked together and we shared our own ideas and made it all come together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're coming to Mr. Nathaniel, the one who kept, well, I'm not going to give it away, but you're going to see him a lot in the video. So what did you think? It was it was a good idea. It was, it was a nice change of pace. You feel me? Like we just brought our ideas together and made our own masterpiece. Yes. Oh, I like that. I like that. And this here is one of our directors, Miss Colleen. What did you think? Um, I thought it was a good way to go over skills and make it fun and just review everything before we have to take our big test. Yeah. And this mine. is the other director, <laughs> Miss Christine. <laughs> she took mine, but it's good <laughs> work together, teamwork, and get you hit to the young generation to get your stuff out there. Yeah, she just aged me, but that's okay. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, it was in quotes, okay. <laughs> and here is Mr. Rez. Hey, what did you think about the TikTok video we just did? Oh, after getting enough knowledge, <laughs> it's therapeutic to do some fun and put it online yeah. for others to learn. Oh. That's true. And we all had fun, guys. Did we not? Yes. We did. I'm, I, you know, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, Thank you. you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. On you are on camera. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> no, it doesn't double tap. Are you right? <laughs> I told you it doesn't double tap. It, it's... Mr. Nathaniel here is trying to help me with using this phone. No, yours, don't work. Yours, it doesn't work. It's not working on his either. On a regular video? Yeah, regular video. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, come back. I didn't I I didn't video it. Oh, God. And that's me and Mr. Nathaniel there. Yay! <laughs>
Now, you're not doing child psychology, so we're gonna skip that. That is not something I'm interested in, but you need to know what ageism is. Ageism in 68, you see the word ageism there? Um, yeah, is again, can you tell me what it is, Nathaniel? Yeah, so what are some of the things that... Um, that's true. What are the things? Where they also discriminate against older people. There's a very popular one. Everybody says that. Hmm? No. It's usually about their functioning. Oh, they smell. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know people say things like that, but no. What else? Like what? Hmm? True. People assume that older people are slow, slower than others, you know. And that may be true or common. It doesn't necessarily mean that is the truth. No, it may be common, but that doesn't mean that's the truth. Um, functioning abilities, like driving. People think older people shouldn't drive, or they don't, or they withhold some certain jobs from them. They're like, oh, you're too old for this. So that's all those things that ageism, okay? Hmm? Of course. They have rights. Anybody can sue if they feel that you have usurped or undermined their rights. On page 70, we have apathy. I need you to know what that is. I'm. Hmm? So I also need you to know, well, a phobia. You need to know what a phobia is. They're different. I don't need the different types of phobias, the different types of um, anxiety or mental illness. I just need you to know what's like phobia. Know what phobia is. It's an intense, irrational fear of or anxiety about an object, place, or situation. Anybody got a phobia here? Yeah, what is it? It's called what? Okay, educate us on what that is. I didn't hear you because you have your mask oh, over Oh, yeah, anyone will be scared of it. Why? I'm scared now that you mention it. Yeah, porcelain dolls. I've seen enough movies to be scared. Ah, oh, yeah. What else? Anyone got any phobias? Mine is a common one, but I actually experienced it, so that's why I know. It's kind of common. Everyone talks about it, but no. It actually happened to me where I froze. Um, phobia for heights. And that happened to me many years ago, eons ago. Um, I went like camping with friends and it was just something as, you know, like this height of this thing, something like that, or maybe, maybe a little bit higher, maybe like the height of the TV, I'm not sure now. And we're just crossing over it and then, you know, you just run over and everyone comes down. And I'm, I was game too, you know, and I went there froze. And in freezing, because it's an irrational, it's not, to people who are not experiencing it, it's not real. They look like tiny people to me. You see what I'm saying? It was like I was on the hundredth floor or something. So they couldn't see what I was seeing. I, was, I started to panic and I froze and I couldn't move. And I do remember then my then boyfriend um, was like, because I started to cry. Because they couldn't, I was seeing them very small. And yeah, it's crazy. And he was like, oh my God, wait, 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 wait. So I was crying, like, I can't move. I could literally not move. So I had people, he climbed from behind, you know, from one side to guide me and then others grabbed me. I broke. So that's when I'm like, oh, okay, it's a thing. I mean, before then you was like, oh, I'm scared of heights. I'm scared. No, it's, um, and after that, I never experienced it that way again, but then I never climbed, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Not even the high part, it's the, the down part. Oh, the down part. Oh, yes. Okay, another thing, um, I hate slopes. Slopes and inclines. I, I don't, it's like, um, I'm, I don't know what it is. It's crazy. I don't know if there's a name for that. I had somebody in class that was afraid of... I know, you know, for a long time, I didn't know why people were scared of clowns. I, I get it now. I get it because my daughter's like, don't you see? I'm like, no, because I'm like, clowns are supposed to be fun and happy. And 
No, they're actually scary. And they look sad, really. They're like, you know, like something is wrong. Anyway, some people are. Get your moves on. 